Hey Ready Designer 1, we are going to design some sick tab animations in Figma and we can push this even further by improving the animations and also use it with some dashboard cards and also there's a slight bounce with the active border and this is something we can look at later in the video. Here is an example of a very simple easy tabs that we're going to create first before we get into the animation because we also have to think about building this so when developers have to build it we want to at least get something simple and easy and then if there's enough time we can then start thinking about animation so just to deconstruct what i've made we have a tabs all in auto layout we then have a div which contains all the tabs which i've made into a component and here is the master component and I've got two variants. So one is the inactive and then one is the active. So if I just go in, all I've done is I have also made this a slightly darker black or gray and inside I have a border bottom of two. So what I'm gonna do is just very quickly recreate that. So here I'm actually gonna just say 90D and then shift A and I've got 12 on the top and bottom and then 40 on the left and the right and let's call that T for short just so it won't get mixed up with these well, actually let's call that tab demo so I'm going to create a component so command alt k and I want to create a variant so I can go here and add a variant and then plus so you can put this into an auto layer of shift a make it horizontal and this one I now want that to be the active state so I go to stroke and I only want it to be on the bottom two pixels on the inside and this one, I want that to be a slightly lighter, lighter gray. So let's say around 600 and we'll make these are all black at the moment. Okay, so the next thing to create is the actual tabs. So if I do shift I and then I go for tab and then we're getting the tab demo. I'm now going to command you that another three times, two, three, and now I want to shift A. I want to make sure it's horizontal. And just to check here, I've got a spacing between them of 24. And we're going to call that tabs. Well, actually, we are then going to say div. And we want to then put that into another auto layout called tabs. We're going to call that tabs video so now what we can do is we can then create a component so we just have to do command alt and k and what it starts is it's going to start as a uh, this one is actually going to be active so let me just double check now. So if I go here, I actually want that to be a variant too, and I haven't named it. So I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to say active. And then this one we can just leave as default. So here I'm just going to go in and just play around with this. And this one, we're going to say we want a spacing of 40 on the left and the right. So here I'm just going to remove all this but on the left and the right I want there to be a spacing of 40 and this is up to you how you want to do it and for example this is going to be a width of 1384 so 1384 so now what I want to do is create the variant so here I want to create a variant This is going to be seven days 
and then we have 24 hours okay so now I'm going to create a variant and the only difference is I want this one to be the active state and then this one to be default so just keep creating some more so this one is going to be default this is going to be active this is going to be default and this one is going to be active if you hit the F key I'm going to get the let's just say the iMac 720 and I'm going to command you that another three times one two three okay so now what we want to do is just link these up so this one here we actually want to go to prototype and the interaction we want to click and we want it to navigate to the first one and we want there to be a smart animate you can choose whatever you want I'm going to say 150 just to make it a lot quicker I'm actually going to copy that so I can do it for the rest so now all you do you just make sure that you either you drag like this and it remembered the animation and then you just keep doing the same for the others so here you can't sometimes you can't reach it so let's zoom in and we can add the interaction and that is going to navigate to number four so that will go to that should actually go to number three and that will go to number two so same thing again here we just add the navigate to one and it didn't remember the smart animate 150 and we just repeat the process for the rest Okay, so the next thing to do is to place in the component. So shift I, and I'm looking for tab video. We align it from the left, and this is bigger than the actual frame, and that's fine. I'm going to copy that, paste it, and I want to make sure that is the next variant. So we do the same thing, and we go to the next one, and then we go to the last variant. So let's see if this actually works we go to flow so now when we click we can see it is animating to the other tabs cool so what i'm going to quickly do is just put these to hug and in the center and this is just mainly for the demo So you've stuck to the end and now we're going to create the tab animation and this is going to be a bit more complicated but it's actually not too hard to do the way to do this is i'm going to just command the that and we are going to then call this tabs video animation so we're going to call this have video animation and the main difference is how we show the line so we're actually gonna kind we're actually gonna do this a bit manually so what we need to do is just try and get the measurement so this is a width of one one two put in a frame click and that is one one two with a height of two 
and we are going to fill that with dark gray. We are going to call this active and now what we're going to do is actually put that at the end and we are going to position it on zero zero so this is going to have to be absolute oh this one here sorry we're going to have that from the left and from the bottom so now that is positioned right there and we're actually going to just give this a color of red just so we can see what we're doing so the first one I actually need that to be well let's just have that as default for now and so the next one we're just going to copy that over so I'm going to copy this over and then we want that to be the same diamond or the same um, so this is one one two and it needs to be at one three for the X so that needs to be one three X great and the same thing here we just copy that over as well I'm just gonna collapse these and let's see that the width is 101 so we have to make sure the width is the same so we're gonna say 101 and the X of that is 272 so here we go 272 and why is that not working that should work that is at 272 and this is not going at 272 for some reason probably because of spacing so I'm just gonna hold shift and just tab it across so there we go going to create another variant and I'm just going to command D and this is actually going to be active no border Oop. So I'm just going to remove the border because we need it to be dark and we can also make this bold as well just so it stands out a bit more So now what I want to do is actually just change these to the active no border. We're going to do it slightly different in terms of the animation. So here I'll go to prototype. And for this one, it has already remembered it, which is, which is insane, right? So I'm going to go in and I want to change this to we can leave out smart animate because let's see how it, how it looks we'll just leave it as it is and we're going to see how it actually works so I'm just going to delete all of these and here I want to do shift I and we're going to go for the animation okay so what I'm going to do straight away I am going to go to hug bring that in the middle copy paste make sure that is variant 2 okay wow nice so you can see that is pretty slow and probably because my computer is is absolutely slow but it is actually moving across and then what we're going to try and do is we're just going to see if we can improve some of the animations so let's have a think so we want this to be quick oh not bouncy so we want to try and change this to quick and I'm going to start doing that for all the other animations and it would be nice if you could do this all in one go and this is something that you can play around with and then the last thing to do is just to make all of the borders 
a dark gray and that's very easy just do it like this and let's see if the prototype and let's see if the prototype is a bit better there we go so now it's moving a lot better now some of the animations are not working smoothly so what you have to do is just check that the active is outside of the div so I'm just going to try and put this outside so it's to go outside and underneath there we go and the same thing for this one bring it outside and underneath and let's see if that makes a difference so we're going to go to prototype we are going to play okay so now let's see that now we can see the animation is a lot more smoother so if you don't want to miss the next video what we're going to do is actually combine this with the cards which all have a very slight animation subscribe hit the notification bell leave a like leave a comment and i'll see you in the next video